I'm going to show you how to use the Lego separator in four different ways to separate Legos. So I'm going to do this really quickly. This is a common scenario. You've got some on top of each other. What you do, use the separator, push down, and use leverage. Same thing if it's towards the inside. If you have a piece like this that doesn't have any of the pips on top, you can use the other end of the Lego separator, just like you're probably using your fingernails right now, and just slide it under so if it works way better and you don't chip your fingernails. Here's another example. You've got the same scenario, but it's on the bottom. You'll want to just take this Lego separator, place it on the bottom, and you're still going to use the same, you're going to use leverage away from the Lego. And then the final area is you'll see that it's got the, the uh, little prong area. Well, if you have a piece like this that's kind of hard to get out, you can just hold your piece, line up the cross here, and push it in. And then it's easy to pull this off. One of the things you'll notice is that this has rounded edges right here. That makes it a lot easier to remove the Legos once they're stuck to here because obviously if you were unsticking them from other Legos and then getting them stuck to your tool, that would not be that helpful.